Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Sunday morning vlog. This one's a little bit different. We are down on the Strip. We are standing in front of Italy, but what's going to happen? We have been through Italy before, as you may know, but we were invited by the people that run Italy. They got in contact with us and invited us for a behind-the-scenes guided tour. Absolutely, and we're heading in there right now to meet our host, and uh, we're going to take you guys along with us. This adventure starts right now. Italy. If you've watched us for a while, you know we've strolled through here a few times in our travels. Today, though, we are going a level deeper to learn about this dazzling 40,000 square foot space and what makes it so special. Let's meet our hosts for today's visit. Ciao a tutti, I am uh, Ginevra. Uh, I'm the marketing manager here at Italy Las Vegas. I'm with the, the, the Italy family since a long time and I'm here today to take you to a tour in Italy Las Vegas. And hi, I'm John Trocco. Director of Store Operations here in Italy, Las Vegas. But more importantly, Geneva Santo Pietro, 11 year veteran of Italy, worked in our Torino store for several years, moved here to New York to open our downtown store, and then opened here in Las Vegas as well. The Grand Cafe Milano is Italy's full service Italian bar, where you're encouraged to sit down and enjoy the best regional wine, beer, and spirits in a beautiful setting. So we are in front of Gran Cafe Milano. Gran Cafe Milano is a unique bar we have only in Italy Las Vegas. And uh, the uniqueness is uh, the bowl. The mosaic on the floor right between Italy's casino entrance and the bar is a replica of the original bull mosaic from Milan in the early 1800s. The bull is the coat of arms for Turin or Torino, and legend has it if you twirl three times on the bull, you will be blessed with good fortune. And I'll tell you what, I couldn't wait to give this a try. The Grand Café Milano is inspired by the elegant bars of Milan, and right now it's the only one of the three bars in Italy that is open. La Pizza e la Pasta is the full-service sit-down restaurant here at Italy, and it celebrates Italy's two most beloved exports, you got it, pizza and pasta. The pasta is sourced from a village called Gragnano near Naples. Gragnano is a village in Campania next to Napoli, um, and it's considered the best place for pasta. Uh, you have uh, traditionally the fresh hair, cool hair coming from the Vesuvio, from the mountain, and then the breeze from the sea. And this uh, special meeting of airs creates the perfect air to dry, to air dry pasta. All right, here's a fun fact. Gragnano pasta was designated as a protected geographical indication by the European Union. It's that valuable. And where did the wheat, where was the wheat grown? Right there, because right it's there. also okay. yeah, it's also considered the best uh, place to, to growing grow region yeah. based on the conditions. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. The pizza here is Neapolitan style, provided by Rosso Pomodoro, a company that is known worldwide for their product. Our pizza uh, is topped with the best ingredients, all imported from uh, Napoli, um, and it's cooked in our wood brick oven. It's a custom wood brick oven golden as you can see yeah. um, for two minutes one minute and a half uh, uh, at 900 uh, degrees fahrenheit okay uh, so we'll have the beautiful we call it cornicione the beautiful crust yeah. um, and it's going to be a very soft pizza and we top it with uh, san marzano tomatoes uh, with uh, buffalo mozzarella um, and uh, it's amazing you have to try it In the center of the space is a collection of walk-up stations called La Cucina del Mercato. These are inspired by the open markets of Italy and in normal times you can watch the butchers, fishmongers and pasta makers at work. Right now all the offerings are concentrated in this one spot, the Italian street food station. Cucina del Mercato literally means uh, kitchen of the table. Um, and so the unique concept that we have here in Las Vegas is that we have different counters 
each counter has a theme. For example, the butcher place or the fish place or the fresh pasta place. And you basically uh, have options available. You can get the product and take it home or you can uh, choose from the menu that we have based on that type of food and eat it here. Or for example, the butcher place, which currently is unfortunately temporarily closed, uh, you can choose your cut and we'll cook it for you. So it's literally a celebration of uh, Italy because a lot of places in Italy are like that, right? Like you get in, you see what they have and uh, you decide if you wanna take the product home or it is there. The Italian street food counter is unique to Las Vegas and it offers rotisserie chicken, prime rib sandwiches, the best calamari and polenta, plus sandwiches, salads, and pizza by the slice. When you think of Italy, you have to think about cheese. Lots of great cheese and cured meats like salami and prosciutto. Italy has devoted a whole separate counter to just that, and even though it's not open now, you can still order these items and take them home. This is truly amazing to be able to get authentic Italian salumi and formaggi half a world away in the American desert. So right here, of course, we are in front of the Cure Meat and Cheeses uh, station, which is La Salumeria. Uh, one of my favorites, because I love cheese and uh, cured meat, so salumi e formaggio, I love it. Um, so we have a vast selection of Italian and domestic cheeses. Uh, and uh, same thing for the salumi, the cured meat. The concept of Italy came about in 2002, when Oscar Ferranetti sketched out an idea on a piece of paper. It was a simple concept, put all under one roof at affordable prices for everyone, a place to eat, shop, and learn about Italian food and drink. It took five years to bring that idea to reality, but in 2007, the very first Italy location opened in Torino, Italy, and now there are more than 35 of them worldwide. So this part is where the learn comes in. This area is called the chef's table. So one of uh, our models, uh, one of the most important things uh, and our mission here at Italy is eat, shop and learn. Uh, eat because of course <laughs> yeah. uh, you eat uh, traditional Italian food. Shop because you can shop what you eat uh, in our marketplace right. and uh, learn. It's uh, one of the most important parts of Italy. Um, so we want everyone to, of course, enjoy affordable food, uh, high quality, uh, but also learn about it. So Chef's Table is where uh, we normally do classes. Um, we do every type of classes, pasta, cl fresh pasta classes, uh, wine classes. Um, we do Chef's Table, which are literally uh, dinners with our chef and you can sit down, enjoy wine and enjoy food while you look at the chef preparing your food. And then he brings it to you on this table. Exactly, oh yeah. Oh my uh, gosh, chef that's wonderful. Be behind the counter, you'll be uh, sitting at the, at the counter and uh, it's interaction. It's, uh, you know, talking about food and about what's important uh, in food. Chef's table classes vary in price depending on what's being offered, but for only $25 you can book a sip and savor, have some wine and cheese, and learn a bit about them from the experts. All right, we just have to stop a minute and admire our surroundings. We are here at the front of Park MGM Hotel and Casino on the Las Vegas Strip, and yet we have this. We talked about unique uh, features that you can find only in Italy Las Vegas and this is one of them um, and it's also uh, unique in Vegas you never have uh, clocks in casinos right? No we so, don't. Yeah so um, we envisioned uh, this store to be like a train station right where people meet where different cultures and different points of view meet and so we wanted 
the space to resemble as a train station. And uh, this is uh, the result. Next up on our tour of the stations at Italy might be our favorite, the bakery. It's not open right now, but Ginevra says they plan to reopen very, very soon. There's nothing like bread, right? And bread brings people together. It's the, the, the main point of a table. So um, our bread is made, it's sourdough bread. It's made with uh, organic flour by uh, Mulino Marino, which is uh, uh, a meal in Piemonte. It's made with the mother yeast that we brought from Italy uh, when we first opened in the US. Um, so it's like a piece of Italy that you have in your bread, literally. We do, like the most famous bread that we have is the rustico bread, which is really the perfect everyday bread. And then we normally also have focaccia and pizza by the slice. Um, and uh, you normally see our bakers kneading and really tirelessly uh, making bread uh, every, every day, 24 hours. All right, what is more classic Italian than a crust of bread and a glass of wine? I'll tell you what, it's no accident that the wine shop is right next door to the bakery. Italy's wine shop features more than 400 labels, all from Italy, and ready for you to take home and enjoy. You can find really the best wines that we have in Italy. We also have a huge wine fridge with white rosé, uh, dessert wines, uh, and so it's, uh, it's so much fun to learn about the Italian wines because they're so diverse and they're really um, like one of our staples. Uh. It, well, Italy and France and wine, yep. they just, yep. they all go together. Yeah, it's exactly. Just, yeah, in yeah. our minds, they all go together. Yes, <laughs> correct. All right, so the shop part of the Italy experience, the marketplace. We cook what we sell and we sell what we cook. We love that. And you know what? They mean it. The marketplace is stocked with quality ingredients from both Italy and the United States, the same items that the chefs use to prepare the dishes. You can lose yourself in here, and we dare you to go home empty-handed. There are also Italy-branded housewares and gifts for you to take home as mementos of your memorable visit. Now, locals, take note. You can come into the marketplace and shop, or you can take advantage of Italy's partnership with Instacart and arrange for pickup or delivery. And don't forget that Las Vegas locals get a 10% discount. And if you aren't in Las Vegas, you can shop at Italy.com and they'll ship your goodies direct to you. All right, folks, we've done the meat and cheese, the bread and wine, and now it's time for coffee and dessert. According to the website, a visit to the pastry counter is a must to indulge in the sweet side of being Italian, even if it's just for the day. Lavazza is the coffee uh, we chose uh, for Italy Las Vegas. is a very old uh, um, coffee from... Uh, Turin from Piemonte, uh, one of the best coffees we have in Italy. And then La Pasticceria, the pastry. We make our sweets uh, uh, in-house daily. Um, and you can see there's a vast selection of pasticcini, which is one of my favorite desserts. Uh, pasticcini are uh, small uh, treats um, and I associate them uh, to a Sunday lunch. When you go to your grandparents or to your uh, uncle for the Sunday lunch, you bring a tray of pasticcini. Uh, it's like uh, the traditional way to bring something when you're invited at home. The pastry kitchens where the baking is done are in the back of the space, not visible to the public, but all baking is done on site. The team at Italy makes fresh gelato every day from scratch in small batches. Even though the gelato station itself isn't open, Ginevra managed to grab us a sample of pistachio and hazelnut with the nuts sourced right from Italy. I'll tell you what, they were both terrific. 
To wrap up our guided tour, we were promised by Ginevra and John that we'd have a little tasting. So we were seated at a table at La Pizza e La Pasta. No sooner had we settled down with the cold water when Chef Matthew came over with two incredible cheese and meat boards for us to sample. This right here is a beautiful, beautiful mustarda that we made from apricots. That's our apricot mustarda, our fresh house-made mozzarella, and our basil pesto with a little bit of bread. Enjoy, guys. Thank you so much, Chef. This is what we call Italy, eating Italian. Mangia, everybody. We'll see you next time. All right, that was an amazing tour, was it not? It was. I'm just breathless, and I cannot wait to review the footage. I seriously cannot wait to look at each other's footage, because we weren't even together as we were doing this. Yeah, so. this, this, was, this was really unexpected. I didn't know that they were going to do this all for us, but uh, I highly recommend when you come to Las Vegas, please come to Italy. You will not regret it. It is an immersive experience. It's a mini trip to Italy and that's exactly what they're going for. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification button and follow us on our social media. Anything else, Paula? No, my lunch is waiting for me and it's calling my name. <laughs> Hope you had a good time. We'll see you next time. Bye, bye everybody. Bye, everybody.